What's good, YouTube? It's your boy KFlex, and I'm back here with yet another video. And today I got the Miami Dolphins versus the Buffalo Bills preview. Now, ladies and gentlemen, I'm gonna keep it all the way honest this video. But real quick, shout out to people who like this video before they even heard this sentence. Let's get into the Miami Dolphins versus the Buffalo Bills preview. Okay, I don't know why I have this do rag on. I don't like. I don't know. Hold up. Yeah, I know. I need a haircut. I'm getting a haircut soon. Um. Anyways, we're gonna get to the Miami Dolphins versus Buffalo Bills preview. And there's no easy way to really go about this, but um. So let's just get to the straight to the point. The Buffalo Bills honestly should and are probably going to demolish us Bruh. and take every ounce of confidence that we may have built these last two weeks versus these two terrible teams and shove it to the ground because there's about a 95% chance they just absolutely take our souls on Halloween tomorrow. That's just the reality, okay? Listen, I'm not here to be the optimistic guy, even though I am optimistic a lot of the time. But I'm not here, here to be the guy that's going to sugarcoat. I'm not no delusion. I'm a delusional fan to a point. You know, every fan has a sort of a, a level of them where it's like, okay, you, you might overhype your team. But I'm not stupid, ladies and gentlemen. This is the number one defense right here versus the worst defense in the league. This is an elite quarterback we're going up against. This is all the recipes for and he, he's mobile and we and it's not like we don't have other games to look back on and and see what they do to us now every any given sunday is any given sunday yes but with all due respect to the organization and the players and everything yo we really don't have a chance okay um now it would be kind of the dolphins to win this game but at the end of the day i don't see a world where we would like let me just break down exactly what the we would have to do to win okay let's start off with the offense tool would have to play out of his mind and that's going to take a lot around him to play out of their mind so our offensive line would have to play out of their minds which they typically don't do our receivers would have to you know catch the ball Preston Williams is not playing obviously will fuller still out so we have Jalen waddle I believe Devontae parker's coming back so uh we'd have some some weapons at receiver they'd have to play out of their minds okay everybody would have to play the best game ever and, and like and then we still might lose but it might be close so i'm telling you the facts bro like if everybody on the miami office plays off office plays their best we might lose by 10. like that's what I, that's the reality I, I can't even really sugarcoat it so it kind of sucks to think about it like that obviously you don't want to think about it like that you want to think about it like oh we're gonna win this game but i mean Show me where you see a sign of us winning. I mean, I, I like, I, I just like realistically. And I never say we're gonna lose, but realistically, I just don't see a world where we win this game. Um, it just starts with the offense, bro. How are we gonna move the ball in this Bills team? Okay, we already seen early in the season we cannot move the ball. Our offensive line does not block. Tua did get hurt last game, so maybe with Tua being in the whole game, it might make a difference. But I don't realistically see it. But and again, this is the team coming out there bye week. Um. They're coming off their bye week. They're angry, okay? We're already 1-6. This is a trap game kind of for them in a way. This is a division game. But at the end of the day, you know, we're going to play them tough because it is a division game. But they've had our number for so long. It's not like we usually play them tough. They usually beat the book out of us yeah. over the last couple of years, okay? So, I mean, that's the reality. I mean, Matt Barkley, they had Matt Barkley running up the score on us last year in, like, week 17. You know what I'm saying? Like, it, it just, or week 16. It's just, what, it's just what they do to us right now. And I don't think it's going to change this game. I would, I would be actually be super surprised if it did. I tweeted out last week after the game like, that this is probably the most unwinnable game. I, I would say, honestly, in my all of my times, my, I've been doing this for like three years, this Dolphins YouTube, this is the most unwinnable game I think I've ever had to make a video on. Like, I'm not even... I ain't going to lie. The Miami Miracle game was the only other game where I was like, yeah, we're not going to win this game, y'all. And actually, we won off the Miami Miracle. So, who knows? But this game right here is like, bro, come on, bro. Let's, let's be honest. Let's just look for player development at a point. They're going to f*** us up. Bruh. Defense. We have to stop Josh Allen, which starts with keep stopping him from running the ball, okay? He's like as big as a fullback. He can pass the ball. He do everything. Josh Allen like a one-man wrecking crew. Like, he's a beast, all right? So, we have to start, try to stop him from running the ball. That's We always had trouble with mobile quarterbacks my whole life. But we have to try to stop him from running the ball. Then we have to trust that our defense of all this man coverage and all this stuff can stop Stephon Diggs. It probably can't. Like, I'm just... Like, I'm just honest, bro. It's a bunch of, like, it's just a, it's just a lot of stuff that has to go super right. I mean, it's, it's a lot. I mean, obviously, the coach would have to call it, call in a good scheme, too. You know what I'm saying? Send the right blitzes at the right time and get, and get them off balance a little bit. That would definitely help. But um, realistically, uh, our chances of winning this game are just extremely low. I mean, we can't run the ball. It's, it's very helpless feeling, okay? 
Um, but I am looking forward to seeing Tua because you know a lot of people have been bragging about Tua's recent performances as as they probably should. You know he's been looking pretty good recently. So I am looking up to say okay now we're playing some comp. Let's see if this is just us going up against the Jags and the Falcons or is this actually you know. Our offense, because our offense has been moving the ball uh, up until the last two weeks. Our offense literally was just abysmal, but our offense has been moving the ball. So we're gonna figure out if this is a fluke or if we can move the ball. So that, that's what I'm interested in knowing. But as far as just winning the game, the results of this game is it's gonna be a miracle and, and nothing short of a miracle for us to win. I think we're like 13 point underdogs, which is insane. This for the NFL team. I mean, it, it's going to be extremely difficult for us to win this game. I just I hate to be the negative person. I hope somebody else has already told y'all this, or y'all know y'all self that this game is a pot. Because I hate to be like the guy that's breaking the news that yeah, the Dolphins are probably gonna get fucked up by the Bills. I'm pretty sure y'all pretty much had that inclination probably this whole week. Okay, it's just a reality. Okay, and if we do win, I'm gonna be so excited. I'm gonna talk so much shit. Again, it's no benefit to us losing. We don't have our pick. So if we do win, I'm gonna be so excited. But I'm gonna watch the game. Lord knows I'm gonna watch the game, but I don't have that much confidence, bro. I don't. Um. Yeah, other than that, man, there's not really much to talk about. Bills versus Dolphins, man. Let me know in the comments what you guys think. Who's going to win? Who you guys want to see? You know what I'm saying? Like, comment, subscribe. Roll to the Lever Cutters, Bucket Flexing. I'm out.